Okay, so good evening. This is um, September 4th and the holiday catalog launched today. Yay! It seems like we've been waiting forever and ever and ever. Uh, but before we go through the catalog, um, I want to cover some like housekeeping notes. They're not really housekeeping. Uh, the first one, of course, was that the holiday catalog did go live today. So everything that I've been showing you for the past month, you can finally order it. Um, I did place my first order of the designer series paper shares. This is how they're going to look. Um, and I'm going to be offering a second round. So if you're interested, um, the same form that's over on my website is over there. Um, so that's one, two. Chick Candy 39. Uh, this is posted over on my website. So it's these two stamp sets. Uh, all you have to do is leave a comment on this blog post to enter to win. And my normal schedule of Facebook Lives will resume next week. So next Monday evening at 7 p.m. will be my normal Monday evening Facebook Live. And then next Wednesday will be my um, coffee and a card with a fun fold card. Uh, this week everything got all jacked up since I was out of town and it was Labor Day. And one other housekeeping note, actually two. So um, Stamp Club Online, I haven't given it a plug in a while. And I was waiting because I'm bringing back the members only website. And I am, as of today, completely, it's rebuilt. It's, it was never taken down. So people that have lifetime access to it, they can still log in. But I cleaned it up, um, cleaned it up, added all the content uh, for the last three months. And so Stamp Club Online, all the details are on my website. And then this is the host code for September. Okay, so if you have any questions about all that that I just mentioned, uh, let me know. So I'm going to go through the holiday catalog page by page, and then I'm going to kind of show you, well, not kind of, I am going to show you the samples that I've made thus far using the product that's in this catalog, because I feel like I've done a somewhat decent job of showing um, the product. Okay, so the cover. Uh, and if you guys watch this morning, I'm not really going to share anything different than I did this morning, except I feel like I kind of, I'm awake now. <laughs> this morning, I just was, wasn't, I don't know, I was tired. Um, so here is the front cover. And of course, I point to this because, you know, I love that paper. I love all the paper. Uh, but this is a very beautiful suite, too. I have not played with it. I've primarily focused on Halloween because that's first. But I have done about five Christmas projects. So, okay. So, on page three, four, and five, this is our bundle index. And I know I've done this in the past a lot of times. And I have lots of customers that do this. So, pay close attention to when you're ordering um, the because, for example, like the um, the stamp set, the Spooktacular Bash, the Ornate Frames dies, you save 10% if you order them as the bundle. But a lot of times people will order the stamp set and then order the die separately. Make sure you look for those bundles. And I'm going to point them out as we go through the catalog, okay? So again, 3, 4, and 5 recaps all the bundles that's in this catalog. It's a lot, right? But they're so fabulous. Okay, so on page six and seven is the twelve tidings. I've been practicing that word. And if you want to order everything on this page, here is the, the item number and the price. Don't pass out. That's pretty hefty, right? But this is a lot of product. If you want to get just the stamp set and the dies, and there's two different bundles on this page, here are the bundle prices, okay? Um, from this page, I haven't really shown you anything other than, I didn't show you anything other than the, the, um, holiday catalog walkthrough. I showed you all of this product as I, as it arrived at my house. The paper is beautiful. The stamp set is beautiful as well. And I did get everything. So remember right here is the bundle, the bundle box. It should blink, right? <laughs> okay. On page 10. Love this stamp set. This is going to be perfect for our stamp and blend. So if you love the blends, this is going to be a good one. 
Um, and then on page 11 is So Many Stars, and this is a bundle. So this is the stamp set, but way over here is the bundle, and you get this stamp set and these dies and this font. They're just so beautiful. And I love the stitched, the stitched dies, stitched star dies, yeah. And here's the mercury glass acetate. They, they're saying that it's on page 33. So I'll show you on page 33. I did use it on my project this week. On page 12 and 13, we have the wrapped in plaid suite. And um, if you get everything on this page, here's the item number. If you get just the stamp set and the pine tree punch, this is the bundle right here. Now let me show you, I did use the pine tree punch and the coordinating stamp set, which is the perfectly plaid. So when I looked at this page right here, those are not traditionally Angie colors. Um, I know a lot of people love them and it's not that I don't love them. They're just not my, they're just not me. Um, and I will use them, but I, when I saw this stamp set, I saw a sample uh, on the bundle pages that used these colors. And this is more of an, an Angie color. I have a hair in there, sorry about that. Anyway, so love this set and I will be having more projects with that one. On page 15, we have peaceful, I don't know how to say that word, bow, bow, bow I don't know. Um, but I got this uh, bundle, which is right here. Here's the little bundle box. I got it for the dies. I like it, but I really got it for the dies. Haven't used it yet. Again, I'm focusing on um, Chris, or not Christmas. What am I focusing on? Halloween. Yeah. Okay, on page 16, itty bitty. Christmas, stinking cute, love it, love it, love it. I used um, Itty Bitty Christmas on this card. So right here, the Happy Christmas is where? I think I used it from this set, right? Yeah, right here. And then the inside is also from this set. So thinking of you at Christmas is right here, yeah. You can use this set with any of our punches or dies. Okay, I did not get bells are ringing. I don't have anything against bells. I just wasn't sure that I was gonna use it. And I can't get everything in the catalog. I almost do, but not everything. Okay, so I wanna point out this, um, uh, delic I don't know how to say that, the sink. So I do have all three colors, but here is the silvery, silvery shimmer. And so I use it on this little coffin box. These are so cute. And you can just, you know, it's really easy to use. You want to let it dry though, okay? And I do need to order the re-inkers because I didn't order that. Okay, moving right along. I do think this is very pretty. I just have to set a limit. <laughs> okay, let it snow sweet. If you wanna get everything on this page, here's the item number. This is all fabulous, fabulous stuff. I've shown you the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. I have not yet used the stamp set, but I did use the Curvy Keepsakes uh, box dies. This is the project I showed you uh, yesterday. I've used the paper on this box, this box or bag, and then the card. So I have used the paper. Um, I think that's it on this page. Yeah, I'm saving the snowman. It's coming soon. <laughs> and this embellishment kit. Okay, on page 20, we have the snowman season stamp set, and then we have the tiny keepsakes bundle. So this one is a little confusing, and I will admit that I ordered one too many of something. I think I ordered one too many of this stamp set. Yeah, because I ordered the whole shebang, and then I ordered, I don't know, I have to look back on what I did, but pay close attention to what you're ordering when you uh, look at this page and this page. Okay, this is so cute. It's like a mini 
mini um, buffalo check, right? On page 22, Elfie, you guys already know I love them. And so this is the box I made last week, the slide open box. Darling stamp set. I've been playing around with them. Um, so I used the, the no peeking image. And then now I'm playing around with um, this image here. Yeah. Okay, on page 23, we have Yummy Christmas and Playful Penguins. I did order both of those as well. Um, I probably didn't show this in my holiday catalog haul video because I ordered it after the fact. I also ordered the Cuckoo Clock Dies that's in the annual catalog because I want to cut this out. I'm excited about this. Uh, the Playful Penguins, my downline convinced me to get it, so I've seen several really cute samples. On page 25, um, this is the Night Before Christmas Suite, and um, if you want everything on this page, here's the item number. If you just want just the stamp set and the dies, here's the bundle box. I will give a plug to the Cherry Cobbler Ribbon. You've seen me use it a couple times. It is amazing ribbon. I'm obsessed with it. And Holly Jolly Christmas. On page 27, we have the Merry Moose Bundle. So here's the bundle box right here. I haven't used it yet, but I can't wait to use it. So cute, and I love the punch. On page 28, Shine Bright. So it's the Shine Bright Bundle. Here's the bundle box. It includes this and this. And then I also ordered this one. Um, I did not get this one, but I'm. Uh, I was. it was a struggle because this one would be really good for the blends. And since I love our blends, uh, that would have been good. But I wasn't sure I was going to be able to use all three of these, so I chose these two. And I love this tree. It's so pretty. I really can't, I need to use these to see how it's going to look. Okay, on um, <laughs> Teresa, yes, we'll take a lane swear for just a second. Uh, my nail polish color is, it's a gel polish, and it's called Peace and Love and OPI. But the ticket to that color is that it's not just that gel color, it also has the unicorn powder on the top. So they do the gel and then they do the unicorn powder on the top, and that's what gives it that chrome look. Okay, now back to the catalog, but thank you. <laughs> and I did just go have my nails done again today. It had been a couple weeks. Okay, so Brightly Gleaming Sweet. Um, here's the item number for everything on this page. I showed everyone uh, on my haul video and this morning that I'm working on making an ornament using these two punches. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm, I will before Christmas, before we, yeah. It's just now September, right? So I have time, but that's how they look. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stamp set. Um, it's right here on page 32. I love the font too. This image, this one. Uh, let me go back for just a second. These little stars right here, you might miss them in there. Here they are right here. I've used that a couple times on both the card and the box. It fits perfectly. On page 33, here's that mercury glass acetate right here. And I have a little piece of it right here. I used it this week on these little bats. So here's three bats that I cut out with using the mercury um, glass designer acetate. And there is a protective coating on it, so don't forget to remove that if you purchase uh, this stuff, okay? Um, on page 34, uh, we have our first ever reversible stamps. I have not used it yet. Like I said, I've only made a couple Christmas projects, but I bought it, I'm excited about it. And here is the bundle box, okay? On page 35, this stamp set, let me see. I showed this this morning. I, I Maybe I've lost it, it's around here. Did a light just go out? Oh, 
It did. I, I clicked it. Um, let's see. Oh, here it is right here. So here's this stamp set. Look how cute that is. This is the Stitch Nested Dies. So yeah, I've got this for something. I haven't used it yet. Um, and then I showed these masks on my haul video. Today I ordered the Joy of Giving, wait, the Joy of Giving tag kit. I was able to get this for half price today. So yes, I qualified for a half price item, so I got this kit. 30 tags. I haven't seen it in person yet, so. On page 38, we have the um, Christmas Countdown Project Kit. I think this one's gonna sell like hotcakes. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, kit. And this is the coordinating stamp set. I haven't touched it other than showing you guys on my haul video. The same thing on page 39. Oh my gosh, this pack of paper right here is heavenly. And if you want me to send you the link to the haul video, let me know. I did go through the paper and shared it with you guys. It's so beautiful. I wish I could order the paper, but it's only available in this kit. Okay, on page 41, this is the Feels Like Frost Suite. So if you want everything on this page, uh, here's the item number. This Seaside Spray ribbon is so soft and beautiful. Um, I've used, did I use? I think I used the Ice uh, Stampin' Glitter on one project. Um, I think maybe it was this one. I think I used the Puff Paint and then I added the glitter. And if it wasn't that, then I used the Wink of Stella. But I know I used it on one project. Um, and here is the Shimmery Crystal Effects. I don't think I've used it yet. I said this morning I had, but I think I was wrong. Here is the stamp set that's in the Feels Like Frost Suite. And on page 43, Still Scenes. Here's the bundle box. We have the Snow Globe shaker domes, uh, the snow globe dies, the snowflake sequins, and I use those sequins on this project here. So here's three of those little silver ones, but there's also little snowflakes that I have not used yet. Uh, on page 44, I actually skipped this suite. I do really love this image and I love the fonts. I felt like this was more of a card uh, um, card making stamp set although this is a 3d project so I don't know I just I had to I had to you know say no to a few things in the catalog and I didn't order this one either although I really like these samples here I may break down one day and get this one it just depends on when we get to when we get a little closer um, to Christmas this sweet beautiful sweet come together um, here is the, if you want everything, here's that item number, or here's the bundle box. And I shared, or shared, I showed this uh, thread that's in the Come Together Ribbon Combo Pack on my little um, 12 Weeks of Halloween project. And I used this paper, uh, this pattern right here, on one of my Stamp Club Online projects. I just love that pattern. I didn't use the stamp set though, I used it with another stamp set. Um, okay, gather together. On this page, 49, of course I got the Harvest Hello bundles. Uh, super, super cute, have not used it yet, but I'm excited about it. And of course the Apple Builder Punch can be an apple or a pumpkin, so that's even better, right? My favorite stamp set in the entire catalog, Birds of a Feather. So this is um, this bird, and then where's the other one? I've used I've used three of them. So here's uh, the duck pirate, the little bird, and then this is the Thanksgiving turkey, turkey pot pie. I haven't used the rooster yet. That's the only one I haven't used. So I love it. Okay, so on the next page, we have to every season, the bundles over here, the bundle box. So you get this stamp set and this, these punches. So that was um, 
those punches cut out this little bat and what else did I use that on I know I used one of these for something I used this happy Halloween on something I don't see it in front of me though hmm. I don't know oh well and I did not get beauty and joy I kind of want it but I'm just not sure that I will have time to use it and I love the font so thankful and this little flower and a joy Chris joyful Christmas to you I may break down and get this one but not yet okay on page 52 and 53 love the entire suite uh, so if you want everything on this page Here's the item number. If you want just the stamp set and the dies, here's the bundle box. You've seen me use everything on this page. So the stylish scroll embossing folder emboss this piece. Um, the ornate frame dies, used it on this one and on this one and this one. So these pieces here, those are the ornate frame. This one's ornate, this one's ornate. Um, this one yeah I've used it a lot and there's lots of pieces so make sure you look at the picture on the next page we have the actual stamp set and the designer series paper and then on page 55 we have the wonderfully wicked bundle so here's the stamp set here's the bundle box and then we have the Raven and then we have the black Stampin' Dimensionals. Here's the Raven, here's how it looks. And where's that kitty cat that I stamped this morning? Hmm. I know I had it earlier to show y'all. Oh, here it is. Here's the kitty cat. That's as far as I've gotten. But I did cut out Wicked. Same color, just to show you how it looks. And you already saw the little coffin box. It was somewhere around here, but I've already showed you guys. Um, so I haven't really made a project. I did use this Happy Halloween in the... Nope, not that one. Was it in this one? I don't know where I used it. Oh, I glued this one down so that I could take pictures of it. Oh, there it is. So the Happy Halloween is right here. Okay, moving along on page 56. Love, love, love this one. So you get three tags. You stamp it once and you get three of them. So uh, for this one, this is the box I made. Uh, and then I can show you the other pieces of this. Let's see. I've got, this is what I, um, this is how I keep track of all my extras. So here's Express Your Elf. So that's that one right there. Uh, Happy Boo from me to you. Here's the real one, because I was thinking about, but this was my like warm up version. So originally when I was making this box, this was, this was the direction I was going. And then I was like, ah, it's missing something. So I used that instead. And then here's, it's all about the candy, which is right there. And then I have it in, um, I'm not sure what color this is, but I wanna show you this one. So this color here is from this ink pad. Look how beautiful it is. I have no clue what color that, maybe, I don't know, seaside spray, I don't know. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Love these guys. They're so ugly. They're cute. And this morning, if you guys were here, um, I was telling y'all that I was having a dilemma on coloring this dude because he's pretty easy. Just green and gray um, and a little daffodil on his toes and some flirty flamingo in his mouth. But this dude had me a little confused and I'm still not, I'm still think I've colored him wrong because I don't know what this part of him is. So I colored it the same color as his pants, but I I think that might be hair. So maybe that is supposed to be gray like his face. I don't know. Somebody tell me. What is that on his shirt? Is that hair sticking out of his 
shirt and it should be gray. <laughs> you know, when it comes to coloring these things, sometimes it's not the easiest. Like I remember coloring this guy. Um, I used this image for Stamp Club Online, but I colored it different. But I went round and round. Like I, I colored like five of these trying to get the perfect color uh, to match the paper that I was using. So yeah, somebody tell me what what is that? What is that part of him? Is that his chest hair? <laughs> it's his hairy chest. Okay, so I need to call. So I need to redo this one. Anyway, now you see why I haven't used that image yet because I'm I'm confused. Okay, so but I love this set. Okay, so on this uh, on this page, of course, I got everything, um, and on on this page 57 there's from our house to yours I did get that one and I got it because you can also use this for a Halloween project if you look at the samples right here all you got to do is change the color of these and you can make it a Halloween house and you can use any Halloween greeting that you have so I'm gonna make something I just need a couple weeks to yeah I just need a couple weeks but I think it's super cute that you can use it. And these trees, like this tree right here can be a Halloween tree, whereas that one could be a Christmas tree. Okay, moving along. On page 58 and 59, I passed on both of those uh, bundles. And as I explained this morning, I'm just, I don't make cards or projects that have to do with drinking. I have a lot of people in my life that don't drink. And even though I do drink wine, I don't send wine cards or drinking cards. Yeah, maybe I will one day, but right now I don't. Um, but this Cheers die right here, that's pretty darn cute. I might break down and get the die because you don't have to have the stamp set uh, to use the die. It's a, yeah, it's just a, and it's got that little swirly thing. I really love the swirly. Uh, on this page also, on this page also is the Holiday Rhinestones holiday rhinestone basic jewels just holiday rhinestones um and those are i love the colors i think i've used a couple of them but i'm looking on all of my projects here right now i don't see a single one so maybe i maybe i didn't um okay so on page 61 these are the hostess stamp sets and so if you purchase 150 or more uh, you get stamp and rewards as long as you don't use a host code don't ever use a host code if your order is more than 150 so when you order 150 or more you can choose host stamp sets or anything in the catalog and these are two of the choices so this one would be $13 in host hostess um, stamp and rewards and this one is $10 this one's so beautiful the font is just amazing and this one's super cute and fun and we have one more thing to show you, and it's on page 63. It's Nature's Beauty, and $3 of every sale goes uh, towards mental health organizations. That's a really good one. And the stamps are really pretty. I just got this one in. I had to order some more holiday catalogs, and um, I, I ordered that one. I didn't have it on the, uh, the catalog haul video. Okay, so that is it so what questions i think i probably skipped showing you some of the um projects that i have made um i said i was going to show them all to you and then i kind of got distracted and started talking but if you haven't been to my blog in the last month these are some of the projects i made using holiday catalog product quite a bit right I'm impressed myself. <laughs> I love this time of year. Like I feel like a kid because we have so much fabulous product. And I look, I have all these images that I'm just waiting to, oh look, see, I was trying to figure out how to color the duck and I colored it with like, I don't know, rich razzleberry. And I'm like, oh, that don't work. But I kept it just in case there's a rainy day and I might need it. Um. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing, too. If you don't get the ornate frame dies, which I think you should because all these pieces, like this and this, it's a fabulous set of dies. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use them for Christmas, too. Did I use it yet for Christmas? 
No, I don't think so. But you can use the, and I say this is the everyday label punch, but it might not be. Don't hold me to it. But you could use it with another, you could use that stamp set with another punch or die if you don't get them. But I think you need them because it cut that out too. Uh, I think I showed you most everything. Oh, this is another one of those ornate frame dies. I haven't used this one yet, but it sure is pretty. Look at this one. I've already used that one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to check for questions real quick. I could rattle on forever. Have a great night. Thank you, guys. Mm-mm. <laughs>